Hi, and welcome to Inside City of Hamilton. I'm Kat Cullen. A day in the life of an EMS worker is anything but typical. They work 12-hour shifts and can get up to 15 calls in that time. These calls can range from car accidents to shortness of breath, chest pain, or even drownings. So how are they trained to deal with each new situation? To be a paramedic, you need to have your high school diploma and you need to complete a two-year uh, course at a, at a recognized uh, community college. There's also one-year courses available through private colleges. After that, you have to apply, uh, make it through the interview process, which is several stages long. You have to pass something called base hospital testing, and then uh, you have a short orientation where you become familiar with the city, and then you're a full paramedic. There can be many intimidating things when you're in the business of saving lives, but for Adriana, the good certainly outweighs the bad. You know, again, like one of the things I love about this job, you never know what's going to happen next and what you're walking into. There's two different kinds of categories of calls. You can have medical calls and traumatic calls, and then there's calls that kind of shift with the seasons as well. Uh, Heat-related injuries are a good one for right now. You know, sports and things more common in the summer as well. In a day, we could respond to anything. A good day is about six calls. Each call takes about an hour and a half to complete but sometimes we can complete as many as 15 calls in a day. So sometimes you're very busy, sometimes you get a bit of a break. Not knowing what each day will bring is part of the excitement of the job, but it's also part of the stress. Knowing what to pack ahead of time can make the difference between life and death. First thing that we do is check our vehicle. We do uh, checks from the outside to the inside of the vehicle, make sure that we have enough oil, fluids, gas, tire pressure. Uh, we're ready to respond, our sirens and our lights are working. Inside of the vehicle we have several bags that we use that we would take in to uh, patient calls. So we have to check to make sure each one of those bags is well stocked. There's a trauma bag, a symptom relief kit, uh, the cardiac monitor, and a uh, pediatric kit. There are some great perks to the job including TV, basketball nets, and workout facilities while waiting for a call. But you've got to be the best of the best to wear this uniform. I really like the people that I work with. I really like the EMS culture. Um, we're very good with supporting each other. Uh, I like meeting different people in the community. And what attracted me to this job, I really like the short-term uh, interactions with patients. You try to do as much as possible, make as much of a difference as possible for that individual before transferring them over to the hospital. And I really like that aspect of the job. If you've ever considered a career with the Emergency Medical Service, check out www.hamilton.ca slash EMS for more information on our city's life-saving paramedics. For Inside City of Hamilton, I'm Kat Cullen.